if not now. Then when? Okay, my name's Karen Anklum, and I am a fundraiser at Loyola University, New Orleans. I live in New Orleans, and I'm here visiting on um, alumni visits here in Lake Worth. Declared for days to come is as good as none. I um I want to be in a musical because I love to sing and I love to show off and I think that would be good for uh, a good way to get attention. And I do speak French nearly fluently, but I would like to study even um, more French. But I also want to pick up Spanish. I want to study Spanish, and because I have a lot of Spanish-speaking neighbors and and I'm going to Honduras in the spring. So I would love to brush up on Spanish. But actually, closing the deal on French is my big um, mm. lifelong dream. And, um, and another thing is, um, I do want to get back in the swing of swimming. Mm. I'm a swimmer and I haven't swam in about a year. About three years. So, um, and let me think if there's anything else. Oh yeah. I would like to garden. I need to cultivate a garden in my backyard. I have a very nice backyard in New Orleans, and and I know I can make it very nice, and I haven't spent any time or money on it. So, Like, how do you do it? How do you get started? She said to watch the newspapers for listings and to call the theaters for listings to see what's their season. And so um, I have to just get in the habit of looking at calls for audition, which I've never done. I've never even paid attention to it. Um, I, would, I think um, maybe if I contact the, the five or six theaters, maybe you know, maybe, probably not before the end of the year, but maybe around Mar by Mardi Gras, which is in February. Okay. Then I would have come maybe, um, maybe by the end of the summer, at least I've started it. Okay. Because by the end of summer, it, it kind of withers. So let's just say July 31st. Does yeah. that work? Yeah. You'll have, like, at least... Something started. Something, yeah, where you want. Okay. To, and I could commit to Friday nights. I could commit to Friday nights because they spend the night at my husband's house and and I do something around 5.30 or 6 that I could do before, immediately before or after. But it also keeps me right up to it. If not now, then when now, this will be up, so whenever you get, when you think about the things that you want and don't have and haven't taken action on, you can just go and look at this again. And if you go a year and none of these things happen, <laughs> then that's feedback for you. Mm -hmm. And then it might be time to like see what else is out there for you to move forward. And you mean start over or you mean just check out why it's not happening? Yeah, like there's something, there's a belief system underneath that's having it not happen. Because we, we I mean, how many times do we go to the gym and then we go back to our old weight so quickly afterwards. So it's, it's actually changing the belief system about it is what's going to have the other things turn out. And so that's what I've seen for me is that once I come from the place of, you know, I deserve, I matter, abundance, you know, all these things, if that's my belief system, then all the other things just start falling into place. So, so, so I, what my invitation would be is to look at if you know, if you see yourself just keep on doing the same thing over and over again, you know, mm -hmm. expecting different results, is to right. start looking at your belief system and what work is out there, because right. there's a lot of work out there, yeah. and that actually helps you see the difference in the belief system and take action, and, you know, take yourself on. All right. Then when